really opal we're out just because you couldn't press start hi everyone it's time for some lazy cooking oh man so i've got a new setup hopefully it looks okay wow awkward my boobs like it no here we go don't mind me hot opal the mel belt yes thank you i've been working doing a bunch of upgrades um so I switched to my laptop from my tablet. I'm not sure if I like this camera, but we'll see. So I also now have, do this ever so gently, my phone, my old phone rigged up. Ooh. So I got a huge rig right here so that you can have a better top down view instead of an angled view of what I'm doing. Um, I've got my microphone, I've got two lights in here. I'm not sure about the placement because it makes it hard to see the screen. Kept pressing start. I know it makes you want to press start. Um, so this week, this past weekend, I was working on those backgrounds. I switched from Streamlabs to Stream Elements. So hopefully I can do more. I've got new music. Uh, looks like my music's a bit loud. Let me fix that. That too quiet i want you to be able to hear it but i don't want it to be obnoxious got all made up yeah now you can actually see that i put makeup on i was rushing to put makeup on too because i was so a guy i like to watch jammy giraffe did a forfeit and today he had to eat a carolina reaper so i was clipping that and trying to get all of that in his socials and that was really fun to watch but he goes like right up to when i start if not a little later so I'm like rushing back and forth, trying to do that, trying to get this new setup. Um, so this is what happened with first payout. Thank you all for supporting me when I hit affiliate because this is what I did with it. So I now have a rig for my camera. So hopefully you can have better views. I got two lights. We're air frying today. I've never fried anything, so I'm kind of terrified. We're going to try it. Um, Yep, new overlays. I've spent time with that. I got more music. So hopefully it's a good kind of mix of music. Everyone appreciates that. Oh, I can't even see. <laughs> Hi, Mama Zug Zug. Yeah, I, I'm running behind. So I was just getting that open so that I could make sure all that was posted. Oh, so yeah, the light is like, I have one right here. It makes it hard to see my screen. Rose, I am making dinner. Thank you, Opal. Thank you, Starkers. The music's loud. And I'm lagging. Shoot. Um. I don't know if there's anything I can do about the lag. I know it's my... Oh, I know what I can do. Okay. Hold on. I will be right back. I know what I can do. Hopefully that helps. I just went and shut down my other computer so there's less usage on the internet. So hopefully that helps with the lag. Um, yay, the emotes are working. Mm, there we go. So I know I'm still trying to get things set up on this, make all the correct connections, I think. Rogue, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Air fry is for whose diehards want fire heat oil <laughs> so i tend to get sick with fried foods just the oil doesn't do well and i don't know why this shirt wants to like do weird things no we're just it is what it is it is what it is. um 
So yeah, I'm terrified of frying anything in oil. There's a time I tried to cook bacon and I wasn't wearing a lot of clothing or any at all. And it's bad a lot. And I got covered in oil burns. <laughs> they were small, but it wasn't fun. So it makes me very anxious to try actual frying because it's a large amount of oil and it can go very wrong very quickly. So I thought I'd try the air fryer. I've never used one before. Um, I ordered this one on Amazon. It was highly rated and it was on sale. So hopefully it goes well. I did all the prep. So I took all the stickers off, cleaned it, um, burnt it for cooked for five minutes with nothing in it to help get any residue off, wiped it out again. So I think we're good to go. I've also, since I've never done fried foods, I've never made any of these recipes. So we'll see. We're going to learn together and see what happens. Um, yeah, everyone keeps saying that the air fryers are really cool. So we're going to, we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. So today we're doing deep fried pickles. I love me some bagels and buffalo wings. So with the bars being closed, I've been going crazy. And for someone who does karaoke multiple times a week and trivia nights and bingo nights, like a whole year without bar food when you're used to eating it like three days a week, if not more. The struggle, struggle is real. Struggle is Yes, and I love spicy food. So if I can make a healthier <laughs> version of these foods, and I know I love fried pickles, and I can know since I don't fry things, like I haven't had them in a year. And I even have the recipe for the spicy mayo dipping sauce. We're going to make our own buffalo sauce. So it's all from scratch. And it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, the only difference, like you could do this in the oven, Kind of going to be the same thing with the air fryer since I'm doing for just myself. I kind of like the idea of the air fryer so I don't have to heat up my big oven <laughs> just to do a little bit like single serving size. Um, talking with a few other people, they switched out the air fryer for a toaster up because you can't stack things on the air fryer. They vent from the top. So we'll see if I like this. I might switch it out. But at the same time. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. So this one wasn't too expensive. I think it was 75 after tax. And I got the five and a half quart. So not the smallest model, which is about three quart, but also not one of the larger models, which can do like a small rotisserie chicken. I switched to my laptop, which should be more powerful than my tablet. Um, Hmm. I thought I had all the settings done, but let me see. <laughs> I can't say. There it is. Um. But. I don't know if that's going to change anything while I'm live. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm i sorry, you guys. Like, I can, I can put this off till next week and we can just call it, but, um, is there, yeah, I, I set everything up on the laptop, so I'd have to take like a half hour to get it going on my tablet. If it's really bad. Yeah, I much prefer the pickle chips over the pickle spears. The pickle spears are nice, but I got the chips. So we're, this is a lazy hack. <laughs> I didn't even think of it. So instead of getting whole pickles, get the pre-cut ones. Save yourself the time and the effort. 
Is anyone else having troubles with the replay? Like, is it is it lagging really badly? Because it... I don't know why it would be. I... There shouldn't be anything else open on here. Let me... Oh, I can't see! I'm pretty sure I've closed everything I can. OBS, real tech. Yeah, there's nothing else I can close. I've already done all my updates, so it shouldn't be trying to update anything. Um, small bit, but not too bothersome. Okay. Because the other thing I could do is turn off stream raiders. Let me see if that helps. Because that's the I, the only other thing it could be is I have my phone camera going through Wi-Fi. That shouldn't be causing lag. I'm not even using it, so it's off. Not as bad as Jammies. <laughs> yeah, he was struggling. Okay, well, if it's not too bad, we'll keep going. If you notice there's some problems, then just let me know and we'll pick it up once I can figure out what's going on. Um, Cause yeah, the only thing I have on right now is this laptop. Nothing else should be connecting. Happy hump day, grinding along. That's okay. I appreciate it. Jersey hat boy. I appreciate you hanging out. Let me turn off stream raiders since we're not going to do that today help with leg there all better all right so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna start i think with the fried pickles because i want the wings like fresh fresh and hot um yay look at the hype Ugh, it's working it's working i'm so excited <laughs> you'll take pixelated jaggy picks pickles yeah so i did put the recipes in my discord so if you want to follow along or if you want to do this at home, like I said, you can do this in the oven. Pretty much the same thing. You might have to cut back timing. Um, hopefully, I did check all of my stuff last time. Yes. Okay, good. Um, I checked all my commands, so all my commands should be working now. We're doing this on the fly. We're making it. Uh, if you want to show up, Saber by all means, but no, I am not mailing you some of my pickle chips. I will make a meal out of just this because they don't reheat the best, but if I can make my own, that's gonna be awesome. And then I have a bunch of chicken to cook up. So we're gonna have a lot of buffalo chicken. But I love buffalo chicken, so we'll see if my family's gonna get any this week because I'm going to have just wings and chips tonight, but then tomorrow I'm going to make them into wraps. So let me know if you guys want me to go live or when I make myself a wrap at lunch. Ladies, yes, I love cooking too. I just, I don't, I like cooking for other people. So I, I don't cook like this for myself, but because I'm cooking to show you guys and I'm sharing with my family, I kind of get away with it. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't normally cook like this. So I'm enjoying this because I get to experiment, try new things, learn lots, and show you all the mistakes I make along the way. Whee! Um, know the feeling? Yeah. Yeah, I tend to eat like once, maybe twice a day. I'll do a couple of snacks, but nothing crazy. Um... So yeah, like I said, let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully all these camera angles are looking good. Oh, did I turn that off? There we go. So yeah, now I have it hooked up. So my old phone. Way to go, Aaron. 
Um, so I do have it switched, so you'll actually see from my angle, even though my camera's on the outside. Right hand, left hand, right hand. So yeah, that one's reversed. But that's good to know. People that cook, yeah, there was actually studies where a sandwich tastes better if someone else makes it. So that's why it, food tastes better when someone else makes it for you. Because what was the reasoning? While you're making the food, like you already anticipate the taste. So therefore you kind of like wear yourself out on the taste before you even taste it. As opposed to when someone else cooks it, it just shows up and it's ready to go. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start with the pickles. Uh, we got to drain the pickles and dry them off because we're frying. So I'm just going to do that real fast. Lay out paper towel. We might have to do this in a couple of batches, but hopefully not. That's why I did the larger one. Because again, when I lazy cook, I do more like, um, use your words, Aaron. Jeez. When I lazy cook, I tend to do multiple batches in one. So that way I don't have to cook as many times. Yeah. Yeah. And see how awesome of a job I did draining that. So these are just kosher pickles. Um, I would recommend against like sweet pickles. I think those don't taste as well. Something that doesn't have a lot of spice already added. I know here I can get like garlic pickles. So that was something I was considering if I could get them. But we're going to add our own flavoring. Pink bros, I am doing well. How are you? Thank you for stopping in. We are air frying today for the very first time. I'm not terrified. That's a lie. I am so terrified. I'm going to be so mad if none of this turns out. I'll probably still eat it. But I'll be mad. All right, so I'm just going to let that drain a little bit while we make the rest. Uh, <laughs> set of bowls. Always grab one larger than what I think I'm going to need. Too small. So first for the dipping sauce, which you can make ahead and then just refrigerate. Easy peasy. That's just going to be oh, dipped. Uh, mayo and sriracha. In mayo. So it's like one cup of mayo to two tablespoons of sriracha is what it recommends. If you want it spicier, make it spicier. If you want it less, less. You can also do spicy ranch. Same kind of thing, like a ranch with sriracha. Um, and whatever you like to dip them in if you dip them. I am terrified of frying, so hopefully I won't be scared of air frying. It's just because I've never done it that I'm a little nervous. Honestly, I should just pour the sriracha into the mayo because I don't normally eat mayo. I just want spicy mayo. And we just wing it because who cares? It's mine. I may or may not share. I haven't decided yet. Be an adult. Get real. So Try to at least pretend I'm semi-professional. So this drawer right here, the one I normally get into, has all of my um, plasticware that I get from ordering out or that other people pick up. So I just kind of collect a bunch of plasticware. So I work my way through it. Yes, I know that's absolutely terrible for um, the landfills and everything, but 
also the weirdo that reuses my plasticware and will wash it. So I don't know why I'm using the plasticware instead of the metal that I have. I'm just going to give that a quick taste. That's a spice of mayo. Eh, I'll probably dish that into something prettier later. Done. Easy peasy. And for eggs, this should be fine. My other bowl is over here. For the flour. Sure, I'm not miss spicy mayo and sushi. So yeah, that's originally why I asked for mayo and sriracha is I wanted to make some sushi. I was thinking maybe next week, but next week is before Valentine's Day. So I'm making fudge. Next week is self-care week. Um, okay. And I know I'm not the only person who does this, but I'm the only person I know who does it. So since I'm normally single on Valentine's Day, I take myself out on a date. And so next week, I'm making myself treats for Valentine's Day. <laughs> hey, TryHard, how are you? Casual TryHard and I have been spending way too much time on TikTok. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so yes, next week is going to be making quick and easy Valentine's treats. So my go-to is fudge. It's really simple. Thank you for the cheer, Coltino. Oh, thank you. Uh, I was considering since it's bar night to like play a game where every time something's cheered, I have to draw a card. So Jamie was doing a circle of death and I thought it'd be funny that if we played that every time... 10 or something was cheered, I'd have to pull a card. And once I broke the circle, then I'd have to actually make a drink. Because I think I have some vodka. <laughs> so I'm taking it that you guys want to do something like that. Yeah, as it's Sailor Moon. So I have all new gifts. The sounds I still have to work on, I apologize. I know they're pretty crappy right now. It was just what I could find to work. And then I haven't gone back to fix them. Because I found clear sound. I just haven't downloaded them. So all of my cheer emotes, or all my cheer gifts are Sailor Moon. Because I love Sailor Moon. Um, I haven't decided if it's going to be peanut butter fudge. I just normally do regular fudge. And then I might add stuff on top of it. Like a little bit of peanut butter. But we'll see. I haven't fully decided what next, next week's going to be, but it's definitely going to be treats for myself. Because I treat me good. <laughs> but then, since the week after is after Valentine's Day, I might do some vegetarian sushi. Just because I live in Michigan and the sushi isn't great for, like, at home making. We don't have the best options for fish. Um... So you just want to mix the egg up, scramble it a little bit for your wash. That should be good. But I'm going to reuse this stuff for the chicken too, which is why I'm not going to be too crazy. Um, all right, so then for the flour mix, I chose these two recipes. So you can use like panko, you can use cornmeal. One that's calls for straight flour and no mix. So I'm kind of curious as to how these textures are going to change in the air fryer and what I'm liking. So one's just straight flour and the other's flour and cornmeal. So this one is half a cup flour, half a cup cornmeal. So 50 50. I'll measure it out just because this Yeah, I'm sorry, Hollywood. I don't know why it's lagging. I don't know what that cause is. If it's bad enough, then I can just end the stream. Because there, there's nothing I can do at this point. So 
So you guys just let me know if it's too bothersome and I'll I'll call it a day and just record this for YouTube so you guys can still see it. It just won't be live. Hope to do it live. Okay, yeah, I'll have to look into... No, I definitely would rather know if there's an issue, just like if my music's too loud or my mic's too quiet. It's better to know if there's an issue than not. I just don't know what else to do live. Um, because I'm using a new computer, I'm using a new OBS system, I'm using new cameras, I'm using a whole new setup, so I don't I don't know. My internet hasn't been the greatest, so there's a lot that I'd have to troubleshoot. And yeah, I just don't Jammy, hello, thank you. Oh, I forgot to turn Stream Raiders off. So I turned Stream Raiders off today to see if that helps with the lag. Doesn't seem to be. The overhead camera? No. Maybe? Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, well, I had my camera plugged in and it still died. So give me just a moment and I will get another camera. Ugh. Dang you, phone camera. We're working so well. Here we go. So unfortunately it's gonna be backwards because I don't have any way to flip this camera. Oof, sorry. That way, here we go. But. Okay. Oh, that made me thirsty. <laughs> Okay, so I just have my egg on the one side, and then this is half a cup of cornmeal and half a cup of flour. And it's just all-purpose flour. Again, thank you for bearing with me. So, Jamie, I was trying to use one of my old phones because the camera was really good. But even though I charged it to 100%, had it plugged in well, I was streaming, the camera still died. So... That didn't work. We'll go back to the webcam. Um, 
And then for seasoning, this one is just going to call for seasoned salt, paprika, garlic powder, and ground black pepper. So all the taste, about an eighth to a quarter teaspoon. So like a pinch, the midge. I'm just using fresh ground black pepper. I like it a bit spicier. Seasoned salt. Since this is our only salt, this does say half a teaspoon. But to give you an idea, so like, <laughs> they're pretty small amounts. Because I know I've got some UK folk and they don't measure like this. Eventually, I will get a weight or scale. Oh, wait, I'll get a scale so that I could do UK or pretty much anywhere else besides America type recipes. I just haven't gotten there yet. Garlic powder, make sure I'm grabbing the right stuff. The fun part of live streaming don't get flustered when everything goes wrong because those days happen. <laughs> so again i do really appreciate you guys bearing with me because i know it's a little frustrating when you just want to see some food but yeah you can kind of see as it's going in there i'm not putting much in there this is just to season the flour since you can't season the pickles, you season the flour. We're going to do the same thing with the chicken, and then we're going to put sauce on top of the chicken. Make sure that's everything, and it is. Grab another fork. You have to use a miss. You could also use a whisk. I'm just lazy, and I'm going to use a fork so that I have less dishes later, even though it's not that hard to It doesn't have to be perfect because these don't all have to taste perfectly uniform. There's probably going to be leftovers, I would think, of each of these. Mix my egg a little more again. All right, so now we just have to spray the basket. So some of these say like don't spray the basket. Some of these say do. This one says spray the basket. So we're going to spray the basket. This again is a five and a half quart. All I've heard is that spraying it makes it extra crispy. So that's what we're doing. The chicken can go back in the fridge. basket out so that I can put it right in there. You do want to make sure that you only do one layer so that it all crisps up nicely is what I was reading. So then you just dredge your pickles. Okay, not too bad. Too bad. Even if you just want to do pickles, egg, and flour, that should be fine. You don't have to put the spices in there. And then you can put... the spicy mayo on top still. You just want these dry so that the egg and flour sticks. You want it dry if you were frying so that you don't start a fire because oil does not like water. There. But that's why I was thinking trying the air fryer because then you don't have to be quite as concerned with how much moisture you get out of there. Seems to be a little less finicky. Just bloop. 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 And it says to make sure it's kind of padded in there. Drop it in the basket. If you don't like getting messy, this is not the recipe for you. Ah, look out. So for most like single person households and doing one 
batch at a time. It seems like the three quart, so the smaller option of the air fryers, would be plenty. Um, one of the main complaints someone else had was just that it was really small, so it kind of limits what you can put in there. Um, and so they switched to something else. But I think the five quart should be fine because then I can cook larger batches for just myself or also some for my family if I want. Getting my fingers coated. It's fine. That's why there's extra. Maybe I should have my fingers coated. Seem to work better. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Let go. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I know Jammy said he's never tried fried pickles. Has anyone else in here never had fried pickles? Or worse yet, is anyone in here, like, absolutely hating on pickles? Because I also thought about doing, like, mozzarella sticks. It's just everyone's had mozzarella sticks, right? I also thought about fried mac and cheese. Oh, boy, you've never... I mean, I guess I get it, but... Oh, fried pickles are so good. It's probably such an American thing that I don't even realize. The stream lives! Yeah, it seems to be going better. It's working. Jamie, how's your stomach feeling? <laughs> I was telling your wife that, like, I can only imagine how you're going to feel tomorrow after that Carolina Reaper. See, Mama Zug knows. Fried pickles are so good. Rose milk knows. Yeah. You guys are missing out. Like, you guys think burgers and fries are American? No. Fried pickles. Pretty much anything fried is super American. Fried Oreos, fried butter is super Southern. Super American. Um, oh gosh, what else? Yeah, we just kind of fry everything. This is sticking all over my fingers. Apparently you can fry your fingers because it just wants to stick. I don't know how these people are like, oh yeah, this recipe takes 10 minutes prep and 10 minutes cook because, I don't know, am I doing this wrong? Because this seems like it's going to take more than 10 minutes to just coat all the pickles. Maybe I should do it this way. Grab a bunch of pickles, throw them in there. Throw them in there. Is this how I'm supposed to do it? Am I doing it wrong now? Am I making even more of a mess? Likely. Seems to work. I just always hate online recipes when they're I, like anticipated taking way longer than what they say. I don't know where they get their timing on a lot of these online recipes. I do kind of wish the basket wasn't so deep. Like I understand why. I don't think I can stack these up the sides. Would be an issue. May have to still be a couple of batches. This isn't terrible. Frickles, yeah. Oh, fried Mars bars, yes. So at our county fair, there's always one truck that has fried like everything. Deep fried cookie dough is my go-to or deep fried brownie batter also freaking amazing so if i like this air fryer that might be <laughs> stuff that i do for next week because i haven't had those in 
a year and a half now. If I even went to County Fair in 2019, I can't remember if I did. I think I did? It was so long ago. Does anyone else feel like 2019 was like five years ago? Can't be only me, right? An army of children, yeah. <laughs> It has to be an army of children, because, like, on the plus side, this is something that you could get children to help you with. Get them involved in the cooking process, but I also don't know if I had children, if I'd want them helping with this, because egg is messy. <laughs> I could see them just going, if I was allowed to do this as a kid, I would go and touch everything with flour-coated egg hands. My parents would kill me. I'd be in so much trouble. But worth it. Oh yeah. It'd be one of those where like you have the wet naps right next to it. It's like you go nowhere after you wipe your hands first. Then you go to the sink and you wash your wiped down hands. And then you're allowed back in my house. But as a kid, I would totally love this. I always loved mixing the batter, getting my hands in on whatever cooking. I don't know. I'm just a hands-on person. I, I like that stuff. At least I think I picked the right size air fryer, so that seems good. We're getting close. I don't I think I want to do this in two batches. I think it should all fit in one. Uh, great. Cooking dirty. Mini calzones. Oh, I was looking at some of those. So for Valentine's Day recipes, um, especially if I can do some fried stuff, there were some really good savory recipes. So doing like mini calzones, but then you cut a little heart out of the center. So as the pastry shrinks, it makes a larger heart and you have a cute little like red center with the heart. And kind of the same thing you do with pies. I've seen the mini like heart pies for Valentine's Day a million times over. Also, Jamie, I apologize. I told your wife about my uh, self-care Valentine's Day, so you might be spending it alone with the kids. <laughs> but seriously, like, it doesn't take much to make women happy. I don't know. Again, my best Valentine's Day was when my boyfriend at the time drew me a bath with a glass of wine. I think he got me some rosé because that's the kind I prefer. And like had bubbles in it and said, I'll see you in a half hour. You're not allowed to leave. And then when I got done, he had ordered or no, he made pizza. He was really good at making pizza. And we watched anime. And that was my best Valentine's Day. Like it really doesn't take much. Most women, it's pretty simple. Like just give us some time to ourselves. Go away. <laughs> just go away let us do our thing let us watch some Gilmore Girls or Sex in the City yes I'm aging myself right now watch some friends for like an episode or two let us do our thing. We just need a little bit of time to recharge. That's all. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. I mean, it's nice if you know our favorite flowers and get flowers. Do I ever expect anyone to get me flowers? No. Absolutely not. You feel fuzzy. Aww. I don't know. Thank you, Steli. I know you're live right now as well. Bell is another awesome UK 
friend doing some Apex Legends. Which seems interesting. I might have to try Apex Legends. I keep seeing it everywhere. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be a good choice or a bad choice, but I have just a few more pickles left. So I'm going to try stacking them up the sides. I'm almost out of egg. I don't know. I could crack another one. This first batch could be completely terrible. We'll see. We're learning together. Knowledge is power. Speaking of egg, so yeah, Jamie, I was telling them a little bit about your stream today. So not only did you get to eat a Carolina Reaper live, which was hilarious and terrifying, but he also let his wife and chat make a circle of death or kings game where we filled in our own punishments, I guess is the best way to put it. So he drew a card because someone paid the points for it and he had to have an egg cracked over his head. So obviously the stream ended because he needed a shower. But that was funny. And also, egg is really good for your hair if you leave it in there for a little bit. Helps lock in good vitamins and minerals. The more you know. I've been going a while. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm just gonna eat the rest of the pickles. That's fine. So then this cooks for four minutes at 400 degrees is what it said. So I plug this in. Turn it on. Nope. That's the timer. The clock symbol means your timer. The thermometer means temperature. Power again to go. There. So now it's going. It's not super loud. I can hear it from the other room because there's not much else going. Oh, Jamie, it was a lot of fun. Um, You've definitely got me addicted to Stream Raiders. Except my quest for today was to kill an epic. And even though there were a few other streamers that had epics, like, I never got even close to touching the epic. Um... So now, while that cooks for four minutes, since I've already made the mayo, I'm going to rinse my hands and rinse these bowls. I had to throw out all that flour, but... Raw egg is bad, okay? All right. Oh, that smells so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. That already smells like perfect. 
Oh, I'm gonna make this so much. I'm gonna be a fat kid. <laughs> My goal for spring break is that I'm gonna be 20 pounds heavier. Not really. Oh, God. Yeah, I should stay away from spicy stuff, but it's really good. And then you can control the heat by using less of the chili powder, less pepper. So that's why I was showing you this way. So you can kind of control if you don't like spicy stuff. Don't use as much spicy mayo. Like, oh, three raw eggs in a glass. No. Oh. Oh, I mean, it would help neutralize your stomach with all the spicy. That Carolina Reaper is going to suck for the next couple of days, especially like the ice water is good. You should get some salt to help keep your hydration up. But yeah. Oh, golly. So it's got a little less than a minute. We'll cut up the chicken on this next round after I flip it. Uh, let me... This so that you guys can see the basket. Um, I have laminated countertops, so my air fryer said not to put it directly on even like stone, faux stone. So laminate, not the best. It said to use like a silicone mat or get stone that it can rest on. So I have it raised up on a cooling rack that's coated in silicone. So same for the baskets. I'm going to be taking it out. It's going to be 400 degrees. We want to not burn things. So I have silicone tong and silicone coated. Yeah. A few more seconds. There it is. So we just got to try and flip some of this stuff ever so carefully. And it said about two minutes or about four minutes. I'm sorry. Again. Um, so what I was reading with the air fryers is like the more you have to open it, the less crispy it gets. So that's why it said to spray the basket itself, whereas with the chicken, it says to spray the chicken itself. But they are getting crispy, so that's kind of cool to see. I feel like it might be a little easier to just fry it. Ah, uh, I might need my longer tongs. This is pain. Trying to reach in this basket without touching the basket. It's scaring me. I'm such a pansy. I think next time I might do a double dredge. Just because these aren't... I don't know. Maybe I didn't coat them as well as I thought I did. You guys have any thoughts on this? Who've used air fryers before? I was trying so hard not to get another gadget, but I've been thinking about an air fryer for years. I want to say I first learned about them in like 2018. Um, so it's something to have a little better luck with sticking to diets. All right, I think that's going to be as good as I'm going to get it. Jersey, thank you. So we'll try again. Or 400. And we'll, eh, I'm going to do three minutes and then we can always go longer if need be. And then for the chicken, it's going to be the same kind of process. 
You just cut them to bite-sized pieces. And I'm going to put them in a bowl. And this is going to be a few different batches for sure. I think the recipe said four chicken breasts per batch. Make sure you guys can still see what I'm doing. So for me, bite size is probably going to be... They don't have to be perfectly uniform, but just kind of close. I might do some bigger, some smaller. But you're basically making your own chicken nuggies. Yay! And who doesn't love chicken nuggies? If you don't love chicken nuggies, get out. <laughs> um, I also got the thin cut. As you can see, my cat has now joined me now that the meat has come out. No, you don't get any kitty. You try. A bit more space. Yeah, I probably should have done that in a couple of different batches. So we'll see if we can do better with the chicken. Because I know the big thing with that is getting the airflow. So I guess. The air frying is just small batch baking. Is that a good assessment? <laughs> Struggling picking these up today. I don't know why. Oh, that is a big chunk of fat. Nope. As delicious as that probably is. No, thank you. Same with this piece. So a lot of the good flavor is in the fat, but you don't want a big bite of fat. That's just going to be kind of you know, from this one as well. Yeah, with a faster cook time. Okay. So that can sit a little longer because, like I said, it recommended four minutes. I put it in for three. Oh, that is a very large chicken breast. Here. There we go. Not quite get cut from. Trim a little bit of that off. I'm normally not finicky about a lot of this stuff, but it doesn't hurt to do a little extra trimming. Split this down a little more. So the smaller the pieces, kind of like Melbal was saying, the faster it's going to cook. Johnny! Master Johnny was cooking pies this weekend. Looked so good. He makes me nervous. Johnny Cooks does. I was thinking of maybe trying some Valentine's Day macarons, but they're so scary. <laughs> I know that they can get to be really finicky and I just, I know 
there's a reason that they're normally in the uh, circular shape. I don't know if I can get it to stay in the heart shape that it's supposed to be for the Valentine's Day one. There. I need to sharpen my knives. All right, let me rinse my hands. I just don't want to touch stuff with chicken hand. You know, it's fine. All right. I do have a plate. Put this on. Well, it looks okay. They seem crispy. They're definitely warm. Might have put a little too much flour on there. All right, so I got to let this cool a little bit so that I can wipe it out before. Oh, that's right. This camera has really bad coloring. If you can see small, but yeah. I haven't set up my hotkeys yet. There. Here's the fried pickles. You want me to try it? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. So those can sit over here. Cool a little bit and we'll get set up for dredging the chicken. So it's going to be the same process like before. You're going to want to scramble a couple eggs. I doubled this, so I'm going to want four eggs. And I'm going to keep this out just in case I need a little more. Come on, you can incorporate better than that. There. There we go. We got the eggs. And then for this, I'm going to want... This one just uses a flour. So this is... One cup flour. And I doubled it because I doubled my recipes. Lazy. And then this is where your heat's coming in. So teaspoon, two teaspoons cayenne since I doubled. This is stuff you could do too. Like you could soak the chicken and then air fry it. I don't mind if there's extra because I like spicy. So about, about two cup or two teaspoons, same of chili pepper, two teaspoons. Yeah, 
give or take. This is where your heat's coming from. Lids on, so I don't later. Same with paprika. This is half a teaspoon of paprika. So you double that to one. And then you want to salt and pepper both the chicken and the flour. And that's to taste. And I'm going to do a little more on the chicken after I stir it up. If you can do freshly ground pepper, I highly recommend it. I don't know if it really matters that much for the salt to be freshly ground, but. And you just want to make sure that's fairly well mixed together. Smells well, good. Oops. Getting overzealous here, throwing batter everywhere. I just mix the chicken with some salt and pepper. I'm going to do a little bit more. Use my hands. So again, I'm washing those before I touch anything else. So I'm not spreading raw chicken all over my kitchen. A little more salt and pepper. Right. Gonna wipe out real It doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want excess flour in there. Well, then we just set up our dredge station again. Try and keep things a little organized along the way. All right, chicken. That basket not on. All right. So I added a little more salt and pepper. I'm just going to kind of mix that in. Do my chicken bits. Probably should have taken my ring off before doing all this. But oh, an egg. <clears throat> Flour. Here it's nicely coated. Take off excess. Plop. Egg. Hi, Dishy Moth. How are you? How are you doing today? We are air frying some buffalo wings. See how that works. Getting our hands messy in the process.
I'm trying to leave a little more space between these since I know I'm going to have to do a few batches anyway. Excess. It smells good. Like it smells like spicy chicken. Oh, I think we're on the right track. What do you guys think? You doing okay, maybe? Quinn got his wisdom teeth out. Oof. I remember that day. I actually wasn't doing too bad on the medication, so I went and saw a movie. And the only thing I noticed was that the... Um, Firework print carpeting at our movie theater was really pretty. But I've heard some pretty great stories. ABD. Always be talking. Thanks, try hard. Was I too quiet for too long or am I just making noise at this point? But I do want to know if you guys think that this looks right. I've never fried chicken before. It's a pretty common American thing. I know that much. Look at how much flour is on my fingers. But yeah, if anyone does have some really good wisdom teeth stories, like, Dishy, that's really nice of you to be taking care of them, but I know it can get pretty funny at the same time. I'm kind of curious. For two seconds. <laughs> hey, all the streamer tips, hashtag streamer tips, always be talking. There should be no silence and it should be natural. A natural, continuous talking, even if there's no one in chat. Don't worry, we have complain cast later. We'll go over that. We got plenty. Plenty for complaint cast tonight. So I met Casual Try Hard in um, Anime Daddy's stream. He was part of the small streamer shout out on this past Saturday, and I mod for Anime Daddy. So we've been hanging out since. It's been fun. Dinner time. Pagan, yeah. Also, stop cheating, Pagan. <laughs> I kept winning until you came in. And then I stopped winning, and now I'm sad. No, I'm kidding. That was a really good... Um... It was really good today. Making him eat that Carolina Reaper. He'll pay for that for a couple days. <laughs> Follow forever, yeah. Just like apparently I'm Mama. I'm okay with being a mama bear. It's just also like, how do strangers even pick that up? Like, within one or two times of meeting me. Weird. Y'all weird. Oof. This is making my nose run. So, Jamie, you're not the only one whose nose starts running with spicy food. All right. So, I got that with some good space. And the coloring's really off on this. All right, so this one is 375, which of course it doesn't let me do. So we'll do 380. I think it said 15 minutes. Yeah, 375 for 15 minutes. So I'm going to do 380 for 10, flip them, and then we'll put it back in for a few minutes and see what. And then while that's cooking, I also want to start my sauce. So I'm going to rinse my hands again. You're literally salivating. Yeah, this is starting to look good. I'm excited to try this. I hope it turns out. I'm okay with being Mama Erin. And what was Pagan? Pagan's the crazy aunt? Was that what it was?
All right, so for the buffalo sauce, I just need to melt some butter in a saucepan, put some hot sauce and a little bit of lemon juice. So I got a small little saucepan. Four tablespoons, half a stick of butter or about a finger length of butter because again, I doubled the recipe. If I had thought about it earlier, I would have melted my butter. And then prepping tuna salad. Ooh, I do need some good like tuna recipes. Um, so for some reason, when I was a kid, my okay, story time. When I was a kid, my cat, the family cat, ate a rubber band. So she had to have part of her intestines removed to fix it because it got stuck, which meant that she could only have wet food. We used to have canned tuna in the house, so instead of buying specific cat food, we would feed the cat canned tuna. So I grew up associating that smell of canned tuna with cat food, and it makes me gag. Now I'm an adult, I really want to try, because I like tuna sushi, I like tuna filet, but it'd be nice if I could find a way to get past that like initial for canned tuna, because it's a quick and easy and cheap meal that actually is pretty good for you. I know a lot of my friends who cosplay and are trying to build up and bulk for, <laughs> for their cosplays. Um, they pretty much live on a canned tuna diet because it's cheap, it's healthy. Yeah, it's something with that smell. So if someone can recommend like a good canned tuna or cheap way to get good tuna, because again, I live in Michigan. We don't have any fresh tuna. If we do, it's from a farm. And the tuna farms are great. Same with salmon, which is why when I do sushi, which will hopefully be in two weeks, um, it's going to be vegetarian. Just I'm not too sure about. Thank you. I keep forgetting to drink. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me to drink. I appreciate it. Uh. Oh, the bottle showed up. Yes. So I still have that on my on my um, wish list. So Dustin T.I. or Dustin T. is someone from TikTok. And he, we were hanging out with him, too. He showed up for Anime Daddy's channel. Real roundabout way. So small streamer world is tiny. It's crazy. But he has a gallon water jug and it has a timeline of how far you're supposed to be through this water bottle to drink enough water throughout the day. And level eight susceptible casual try hard got one and it showed up today. So you need to add that to your TikTok video try hard of things TikTok made you buy because technically TikTok did make you buy that because we found him through TikTok. Yeah, it was good talk good to talk he definitely so that's why i was trying my phone and i'm sorry that my phone crashed um so dustin and anime daddy and tryhard and i were all trying to talk about different tips and using phones and trying to get better cameras because the webcam is nice it's just apparently not going to be anywhere near as good as like what i can get with a phone camera um, I have some old digital cameras that I have to dig out, so I'm going to see if those work. Um, so there might still be upgrades. We talked about different lightings. Yes, a rose! <laughs> that huge bottle! Um, I think, Tryhard, you got the same exact one, the gray, right? Because they actually have different colors. And because I hate the color pink, I was thinking of ordering a pink one just so that I would try and drink the water faster to get it out of my sight is what I think might happen. Because I really hate it. I, like, I shouldn't, but it's just, ugh, all the connotations growing up with the color pink. Um, so watch the butter. I don't want to burn the butter. It's okay if it browns a little, so I just need to make sure I'm stirring that. 
The exact bottom. You're too funny. Too funny. But it is really funny to watch him try and drink out of this. So most of the other bottles have straws, but for some reason he got the one that doesn't. So he has this huge gallon-sized bottle he tries to drink out of. It's really funny to watch. And we have... So this is real lemon. I didn't feel like getting fresh lemons and squeezing those for today. So my go-to for hot sauce is Frank's Red Hot. I also have Frank's Buffalo sauce that I could use instead, but I think this is getting close to expiration. I don't know. Obviously, I like Frank's because this is a huge freaking bottle. It's Red Hot. So I figure I'll just make my own buffalo sauce. Otherwise, you can get pre-made buffalo sauce to toss it in. Um, but for this... What did it say? So I want one cup hot sauce and two tablespoons of lemon juice that I'm going to be adding to this saucepan. Butter is almost fully melted. We got three more minutes on the first batch of chicken, and we're getting there. Little by little. Oh, I forgot to spray. I forgot the cooking oil on this batch. Uh, there's always something. Always going to be something. But that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Probably get a lick. And that's almost melted, so I just want to stir all this one. Oh, yeah, I grabbed the one that's milliliters. I don't know how to read milliliters. That's just rude. <laughs> you forgot the ingredients? It's fine. Yeah, it's just one of those, like, totally going random. Forgotten ingredients? Yeah. We're just trying different things. So now we're, it was intentional. Now we can compare the crispiness from the first batch to the crispiness from the second batch when I remembered to actually put the, um, the oil on the outside because again the oil is just to give it that little extra crispiness there's hot sauce but use whatever hot sauce you want i go with frank's wow i'm getting so distracted i tend to go with frank's hot sauce because it's better for my system i have less allergies to it it's not as tomato based um i Found out like it's keto friendly or paleo friendly, one of the two. I think it's paleo because keto, you're not supposed to have sauces or something. And lemon, if you don't like lemon, I'm sure you could do lime. You don't have to do this, it just gives it a good zing. And then I'm going to put this right in my saucepan because I'm going to want to toss this with the sauce. Forget the sugar and mix it with salt. Oh, I've done that. I've done that. I don't think there's anyone who cooks that has not forgotten and put salt instead of sugar or something. Like, it's kind of a requirement, I think. All right. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just eating hot sauce. I just want to make sure this fully incorporates. To make a nice buffalo sauce. 
And this is a really basic one. There are so many others that get way more complicated. Or you can just go to the store and buy a buffalo sauce. I tend to like a very garlic based hot sauce. So next time when I make my own, that's likely what I'll do. And then my tongs are over here. I'm just going to flip these over so that they can crisp up a bit more. Yeah. I could see where like doing a panko style might be a little better or even the cornmeal based one instead of just flour. I was just kind of curious with this recipe. See how it would these are turning into nice bite-sized pieces. Would you flip? Okay, not a 360, just a 180. I'll do... Seven more minutes should do it. On that one. So we're making progress. Making progress. Chili powder instead of cinnamon. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not. Like, I had to double check. Normally, these are all from the same manufacturer. So the paprika to chili powder to cayenne. If I'm not paying close attention. And then, not that it's a big deal to me, but garlic powder and onion powder. I always get a smaller onion powder just because I'm not paying close attention. The color difference is minimal to me. I think, yeah, those are what I mix up most of the time. So I try to go slow when I'm cooking just to make sure I'm not making those silly mistakes, but they happen. It's part of the process. Oh, I can try the pickle chips. Like, I feel like I'm forgetting. All right, here we go. So we've got our spicy mayo, which is just sriracha mixed with mayo. And then our pickles. So let's try our first batch of air fry. Mm. They're not as crispy as I'm used to. But they're still good. I'm not mad at it. I like, I think I like having the cornmeal in there, but yes, pickle chips. Hmm. I'm just, I'm so used to like having the deep fried ones at the bar, but it, it's a little different. I'm not mad at it though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that again. That's really good. Oh, I'm so excited for these now. I'm so excited. I might do a little less cornmeal. So maybe like three quarter cup of flour to a quarter cup of cornmeal. Just for it, because I like a slightly smoother texture, but I think this is going to be a bit too smooth. And then I also have panko that I could try. Oh, 
I'm so excited, you guys. I haven't had bar food in so long. Oh. Buffalo wings are the greatest. Make sure that's all nice and stirred. I don't want it to separate in the next couple minutes. Shouldn't. But I'm going to keep that over low heat because I don't want to. A tempura. Yes, I am a big fan of a tempura batter. Um, I'm just used to that being a wet batter, so I'm not sure how that would work with the air fryer. But I'd be willing to try it. That's why I didn't want to spend a lot of money on an air fryer. Like, to me, this is a lot of money, but... Yeah, tempura pickle chips. So, I don't know what the difference is in the batter. But when I was in Ireland, I had chicken strips. So just chicken strips. But where we have a very bready texture, these chicken strips were more like a fish and chip type texture. So it was smoother. And I really liked that kind of beer batter fish and chip style crusting as opposed to our really ready crusting over here. So if I can figure out what that is, that's my favorite, hands down. And then the dipping sauce, I had to try it. So it was chicken strips with a lemon mayo, a lemon garlic mayo, which I thought was the weirdest thing, but dang, it tasted good. You guys know how to do that later. <laughs> That's what happens when you read chat while you're talking. You guys know how to do those recipes over there in the UK. There was some amazing food. I would love to go over to London and try. Um, wow, why are my words failing? Curry. I want curry. I hear the street curry in like London is some of the best. There's just a huge variety. And Pagan, yes, I will hit up your DMs if you want. Um, oh, I'll have to send you my Discord because my Discord does have recipe sharing as well. But yes, I have heard that the curry, the street curry in London is some of the best in the world because there's a large array to choose from. And so I'm very curious. I want to know. But of course, while I was in Ireland, I had to do like shepherd's pie. There was some really good lamb curry in Ireland. Some of the best creme brulee I've ever had. Oh my gosh. That was good. That was good. You guys know how to do food over there. Like, I was spoiled for those 10 days. Everywhere I went, the food was reasonably priced. The portions were magnificent. And it was delicious. Like, absolutely amazing. And then I came back over here and I'm like, wow, you guys, I like food. So I started eating food here and immediately get sick. Oh, that's right, because we don't know how to prepare our food. Yay! <laughs> so there are some things we know how to do, like pickles. Fried pickles. There we go. Hmm. So yeah, I think it'll it looks really flowery on there. It's looking pretty nicely crisped. So I can toss these in here. Yeah, this camera washes it out. Ooh. Delicious. I think spraying it with the oil will help with a little less of that flowery texture being left. All right, so I'm just getting those in the saucepan so that I can fill the basket again. And then I'll mix it and we'll be good to go. Sure, 
I'm being such a priss about this. <laughs> I didn't even notice I'm being such a priss. Okay, and then spray. Not my hand. Spray the chicken. Nope, that was definitely my wrist. Close enough. Close enough. Oh, I'm going to have so much cleaning up to do after this. Yay. <laughs> Mail you some. Ladies, you just got to come over here and get some. I got plenty. If I could grab the piece of chicken cheese. And then, gosh, what else do we have going on? So Friday, I'll be back to painting because I really want to finish this foil. Or the, I'm sorry, it's not the oil. I'm holding oil. Um, I really want to finish this owl painting that I started last Friday. So until it's done, Fridays will probably be painting for the near future. Like I said, next week will be Valentine's treats because I'm doing self-care Valentine's like I always do. And I want chocolate because I'm a girl and I like chocolate. Even if chocolate doesn't like me. Speaking of chocolate, so this is something I learned at the doctor's this week. I knew that um, soda and coffee and caffeinated tea, so anything caffeinated, I knew that those dehydrated you. I did not know that while pulling out water, they also pull out... Um, various vitamins. I think she said it was calcium. It pulls out calcium. So her husband, who this is the lab technician, so the lady drive my butt. Um, she was saying she was warning her husband because he would drink a lot of caffeinated beverages and he never believed her. So they went and asked the doctor and the doctor's like, yeah, yeah, it does. She's not lying. She knows what she's talking about. So he got tested and turned out he had ankylosing spondylitis which is where your bones have, they don't have enough calcium, so they collapse on themselves, basically. They fracture very easily. So, long story short, watch your caffeinated beverage. She said, to help with dehydration, for every one cup or glass or however many ounces or grams or whatever you're drinking, for every one, you want to have two of that. Ow, that was just my arm. Two of that amount for water. But there's not a whole lot you can do when it comes to the calcium. I have not found like actual articles because I haven't looked it up. So I can't post and link and all this. All I can say is this is one of my lab technicians at the doctor's office doing my blood draw. The last she told me. So if you're interested, take a look. Because I'm curious. Um, I drink caffeinated beverages just because I have no energy ever. And I'm trying really hard to switch off of it and get back to drinking water, only water. It's just so hard. I'm trying to be so careful with this and I'm covering myself with oil. Kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous. My cat's mad because I'm not sharing any food with her. She's in the other room meowing. Try and get attention. She knows I'm busy. All right, I think one more in this batch and then the rest should be the last batch. Which works out kind of nicely. I'm not mad at how this works out at all.
Oof. As I fling flour all over my black pants. I certainly plan well in advance for this. Jeez. Jeez, Aaron. My hands are coated in oil. I can't close it. <laughs> now this poor thing's covered in oil. All right. Can you guys see how shiny I am? I got oil like everywhere except where it's supposed to go. Oh my gosh. Hot a Kool Aid today. Oh yeah. So much Kool Aid. All right, wash the chicken off my hands. Now we can mix up with the buffalo sauce and plate and try our first batch of buffalo wings. Little powder packets. Yeah. Yeah, so I just have to be careful with the additive stuff. Um, I shouldn't have the caffeine. I know this. I shouldn't have the added sugar or the added flavoring or the added dye. Should just be water. I'm just... I get bored with water. Slide some of this stuff out of the way. Work. Oh gosh, this smells so good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can understand how excited I am right now. Is any of this extra, I'm just going to let soak in this buffalo sauce. And then I'm going to make buffalo wraps tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh my gosh, really? Grab the chicken. What are we having? We are having buffalo chicken tenders or buffalo chicken wings. Boneless buffalo wings. There we go. Boneless buffalo wings and fried pickle chips. And this is all air fried, which we're trying for the first time. But you guys saw how simple this is. Like, it's chicken, egg, flour. If you want spices, add spices. If you don't, don't. And then you can just use a buffalo sauce, or this is Frank's Red Hot with a little bit of butter and some lemon juice. You can do this in the oven if you bake it, or you can do it in the air fryer, which seems kind of the same thing. It's just a smaller, so it's not going to use as much electricity, I don't think. I know at restaurants they have like big batches of this stuff so they'll put the eggs in and put the chicken in the eggs and then they take that out with like a basket dump it into the flour mix and shake it all up and then dump that into the fryer and then once it comes out of the fryer they shake off the excess oil and then it goes into a bucket with the buffalo sauce and shake it so even like restaurant quality, I know how it's done. I'm just not quite sure how to translate that for at home. Oh. But even so, um, if you were to get the pre-made stuff in like the frozen food aisle, you don't know the quality that you're getting. And, and it's not saving you that much time and energy. 
or something that tastes even better. Or my two cents on it. Low. So, all right, let's try it. I do ranch. I'm not a blue cheese person. I just have some ranch. We'll start with this little one right here. Bloop. Look at that bite. Blue Jesus for heathens. Mm. No, that is it's like it's still really juicy. I'm I was afraid it was gonna dry out. But it's still really juicy. Very flavorful. Oh. Oh, you guys. I'm so happy. Oh, bar night. I might redo this for Valentine's Day. I love buffalo wings. So I used to get, I've been getting the Tyson buffalo wings that you throw in the oven. Yes, I will cut a larger one open for you. That's why I started with the small one to see if it was going to be super dry. But no, it wasn't. Um... I forgot what I was saying, so I'm just going to cut it open. <laughs> Whatever I was saying was not important. All right. Make sure you can see. Why is my camera not focusing well? All right, let me try something. This might be annoying. Refocus camera. Refocus camera. Wrong one. Oh, it doesn't want to refocus. I think that's slightly better focus. Okay. So, yes, this one. There. Let me put it on the other cam so you can hopefully see better. Oof. I don't even know if you can see any of the steam coming off of it, but I can. I certainly can. So. Nice and meaty and delicious. I think maybe my light's reflecting off of it too much. There. Fully cooked. Yeah, it tastes really good. Dollop of ranch. Oh. Mm. Mm. So good. You eat boiled bread? I mean, even this. So my big family size pack of chicken was seven dollars. I think seven eighty three. So we'll say eight dollars. Uh, salt and pepper, like typically have that on hand. I use two cups of flour, and I probably could have used less because I I know a bunch of this is going to go to waste. But even so, it's like $2 for a bag of flour, and I used, barely used any of it. But even if you have to buy a bag of flour, so we'll say two extra dollars, we're up to 10. Um, a dozen eggs is like $1.50, I think. If you get cheap eggs, and I used four, which is too many, so I probably could have gotten away with two, maybe three. But even if we say like, okay, a dollar for a dozen eggs, even if you throw the rest out. Frank's hot sauce is $1.50. 
We could just get the buffalo sauce for the dollar fifty. Ranch or blue cheese, another like dollar fifty, maybe two dollars if you get fancy stuff. You don't have to put spices in. You don't have to do the cornmeal. But even if you just do that, like fifteen dollars to feed a family, because this is batch one, and there's three batches. Versus boiled bread. <laughs> Don't cry in the shower. I mean, if that's what you want to do, then by all means, you do you. But even for me, like, I'm used to just doing pasta and sauce because pasta is a dollar. I hear you. I'm coming. Sheesh. Um, but yeah, normally I just do pasta and sauce because pasta is a dollar. Oh, yeah. Okay. That helps. That does look way nicer. So, again, I know the coloring's like way off, but they're already pretty golden brown, so I'm not going to put them in quite as long. I know I don't need to. Okay. Power. I think I'm just going to do five minutes this time and see how that goes. I don't want to eat this one. Calling my name. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so I just do pasta and sauce because pasta is a dollar, and then the sauce is like a dollar fifty-two dollars, so I can eat for a few days on three dollars. So that's what I'm used to doing, and then I keep spices so that I can change the flavoring a little bit. But affording meat is not something I can typically do. But for this, hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's so good, you guys. Oh, I've been dying for something like this. Dying. <laughs> Megan, come on over. I got plenty. I mean, I left my house on Monday for a doctor's appointment, but other than that, I haven't really left my house in a year. So, come on over. I can smell and taste all this, so I'm COVID-free. <laughs> yeah, there's lots and lots of ways to do pasta super cheap. And so that's what I'm used to doing. And since... The last few years, I my doctors told me that I need to be on a meat and veggie diet. So I'm trying. I'm just not used to it. Normally, I eat pasta and cheese. And those are the two things that I'm not supposed to eat. Calamity! Calamity is here. So Calamity is the one who wanted a buffalo chicken dip. But I wanted wings. So kind of his fault. But it's also mostly my fault. But now I want some pickle chips. Oh, gosh, these go so well together. Oh. Yum. Calamity just got back from vacation. I hope you had a good vacation. I look forward to catching a stream soon, hopefully. So I can hear more about it. Because there weren't a whole lot of snaps. Rogue, the air frame is actually going really well. So I'm not 100% sold on the pickle chips. I need to do some work on the recipe a little bit. Yeah. 
Here's batch one of the buffalo wings. I don't know why my camera is just being... Uh, this is why I tried using my phone. I did. No, the air fryer is going right now. And I don't have any noise suppression on, I don't think. So it just has a pretty small fan. Let's see, I might be annoying, but I'm going to turn it. So that's the air fryer. They say to try and keep like five inches around it clear just to be on the safe side, but like it's warm to the touch for it cooking at 370 degrees. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it's something I'll do more of. I just have to decide if like others, a toaster oven is a better investment. Or if the air fryer is the right one for me. Because I know there's some other stuff it can do. Um, to me, it seems loud, but it's really not. It's just because the fan is exposed. So it bends out top so I can hear it because it's right there. But I also like some white noise, so I'm not too mad at it. Um, of course I got purple. So... I was trying to decide because my kitchen is more of a teal color. I have yellow walls and my accents are more like my phone case. So I do like an iced aqua is what they call my kitchen aid is that color. It's um, vintage blue. I don't know. But that's the color I like. So if I wanted to do that in this size, it's like $150 and it wasn't rated well. So then I found this one that's rated well. And if I wanted black, it was $20 more. If I wanted white, it was $8 more. So my options were cherry red or purple. So I got purple. So here's bash number, oh, and it's sizzling. Again, you can't even see that well. Ugh. There. Still not the best color, but it's nice and golden brown. So it definitely helps spraying with oil. We'll just do the last batch. There, that'll get that tossed in just a moment. In one moon. Oh, gotta make sure I've got my all my stuff ready. All right, this batch I want to try double dredging and see if I like the extra breading or not. Because I have extra, so why not? Gonna go to waste if I don't use it. So okay, that's packed in nicely. Gray. Cover myself yet again. And then we'll be able to also see if it changes the flavoring at all since I did spice the flour. So maybe it'll have some interesting flavoring. I don't know. I don't know. Let's play around. That's what we're here for, right? I do like the color purple. It's just that light blue was more the color I was going for. So most of my kitchen appliances are that color. I give up. I'm just going to be coated in oil again. <laughs> oil and egg and flour. Good thing I shower after I stream. 
intentionally. But it's also a nice way to wind down. Especially after a cook stream, because I'm going to be covered in all kinds of stuff. Flop. Giggity. I love garlic parm. So typically I go spicy garlic. But if they don't have the spicy garlic or I'm not feeling spicy garlic that day, then it's garlic parm. Um, every once in a while, I'll change it up and go barbecue wings. But uh, -uh. I am a spicy garlic. Through and through. There's a bar not far from me that specializes in wings and every week they'll do a different at least they used to. I haven't been all year. Um, they would specialize in a different sauce for their wings. So that used to be like a once a week thing. I'd make sure to go. And if the wings were that good that week, then I'd get extra. Um one week they had like a bunch of blueberries. So they did a blueberry sauce. That was kind of interesting. Yeah, it's definitely inevitable, especially when you're dredging, <laughs> that you're going to get egg oil and flour all over yourself. I don't know, with how much oil I'm wasting by spraying this stuff, I wonder if it would be better to just fry. But this does at least make me a little more comfortable with trying to fry. Because that's been a big thing. It's, I'm just, it terrifies me. You hear all the horror stories. I'm trying to clean off my hands a little bit. They're getting pretty coated <laughs> since I'm double twitching. There we go. That's a little better. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't have a lot of experience. I've cooked popcorn and I've cooked with like a little bit of oil, but actually having to fill a pot with oil and then figure out how to dispose of it safely and waiting for it to cool. Like, I don't know. It just, it makes me nervous. Right. Oh, see, that's smart. I need to think smart. Think smarter, not harder. <laughs> this is why we're friends. This is why I need you guys. Air. But yes, that uh, that would be much smarter instead of doing what I'm doing now, <laughs> where I'm coating everything in a well. Oh well. I should have done a couple extra in the last couple batches. I still have a few more pieces in my baskets, so. We're going to make it. We're going to make it happen. Buffalo wings and rings. Yeah. Pour the oil down the drain. Can you? I don't know if I can. I thought it had to be disposed of, like, very carefully. I don't know, maybe like most things in my life, I'm making it way bigger of a deal than it actually is. I can't be the only one that does that, though. Wings are good and most of the other things are bad, yeah. Alright, so these are going to have to be a little closer together for the like, base for the rest of the day. 
I've only got a couple more people, but yeah, yeah, I should have taken my ring. I said that like earlier too, that I should take my ring off and I didn't. I honestly don't even know why I put a ring on for this. Like I knew what I was cooking. Why did I think it was smart to put a ring on in the first place? I don't know, but I did. Last couple pieces. Oh, my hands. This feels that weird. All right, last couple. Bloop. Bloop. Then we can see how batch two turned out. And then I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to stick around for batch three, because this is going to be like another 15 minutes. Uh, pretty much the same old. We've already kind of. Hey, my timing worked out. I know I spent a little longer on my intro than I meant to. But it happened. The drain was a joke. Okay, see, you can't. I'm... <laughs> I was like, wait, was I lied to all my life? I thought I couldn't do that. Careful with your jokes with me. I'm not the brightest cookie in the box. <laughs> All right, power, 10 minutes, go. We, all right, so now we're done. I can start, I can at least move this stuff to the sink, start cleaning some space. I have to try very, very hard not to slip all over my now oil coated floor. <laughs> I obviously thought ahead on that one. Let me get another plate. All right, so here we are with batch numero. So this one has oil. Whereas the first one, I didn't coat it in oil. And I cooked it a little less. It didn't seem like it needed quite as much time. It definitely is crispier. Like I can feel that just by this much. So if you like a super crunchy, crispy chicken nugget, coated in oil. Okay. Tend to dress them hands up? Maybe. I don't know. I was just like, what do I feel like wearing today? Because I even told Jamie, like, I was supposed to start going live and I still hadn't even put clothes on yet. I was like, um... So as I was putting my clothes on, I was like, what... What do I want to wear? 
I just grabbed kind of what was in front of my face. And I was like, sure, rings, why not? Because I can't. Normally I try and wear earrings since I can't wear them while I'm playing games. But I didn't today. I didn't feel like it. I did regular rings instead. Okay. And there's going to be leftover buffalo sauce. Yeah, buddy. All right, so I'm going to taste test one of these smaller pieces, and then I'll cut into a larger one for you. Um, screw up the plumbing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is the oil would screw up my plumbing, so I don't want to do that. Funnel, drain it into the original packaging, throw it away. That's what I've heard. Normally... Yeah, that would make sense. Onto a pad of paper towels. It's just, yeah, if I want to deep fry stuff, like, it takes so much oil to deep fry, and I'm not cooking for a lot of people. It's just myself, so that seems a little excessive. But... How did I lose my branch? Did I put it away? No. Found it! <laughs> Like, I don't want to open another bottle if I already have an open one. Bloop. Ranch. Bloop. Mmm. 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 That bit of oil. For that extra little crispiness. It's just Hidden Valley Ranch. I ain't fancy. All right. And now. I'll cut into one. I think it was better shortening the time too. It's a little less dry. Not that the other was dry it's just this seems a little juicier oh the steam coming off if i can get my camera to focus focus on the chicken okay and yum yum Yum. Yeah, I would just have to use a saucepan. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I, if I were to fry pretty frequently, I could just have an oil pan. I have heard that you don't want to use the same oil more than twice, though. Not sure how legit that is. Mmm. Mmm, potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, that spray of oil. Definitely help with the crispiness. I do like the flour. The straight flour over the cornmeal. I'll probably, like I said, switch it so it's some cornmeal, but not quite as much cornmeal as the half and half. John Z, what's up? We are air frying. I haven't messed up. Like, I'm surprised. This actually was pretty easy. We did buffalo wings. Boneless, so it's just straight chicken breast. Dredged in egg and flour. Uh, we added seasonings to the flour. And then made a homemade buffalo sauce with just franks, butter, and lemon juice. For the flour... But I add salt, pepper, chili, paprika, and cayenne, and garlic. Pretty straightforward. So right now, life's great because I've been dying for some good buffalo wings. None of this frozen stuff. Oh, that's what I was on a tangent earlier. So the... Focus. I'm going to take a drink of my water. <laughs> Okay, so 
my tangent earlier, I normally get the Tyson chicken tenders or any tizers. And they're okay. But lately they changed something in the recipe. So now they're making me sick. And also the flavoring just isn't that good. So I've been really dying for some good chicken tenders. Especially buffalo. I love some buffalo wings. I'm missing my bar food. We also did fried pickles. And I think you guys are right. I just, I should have done where I sprayed the pickles themselves. Um, Cause they're not very crispy. And I think I put too many in there. Maybe I didn't put them in long enough. They're still good though. I'm not mad at how those turned out. No, why are you saying no? So it is what I do, what I do, what I do. What I do, what's wrong? What did I mess up? <laughs> what I do wrong? Oh no. Now I'm nervous, ladies. You can't just say no and leave it at that. My cat is licking the oil up off the floor. It's so weird. I don't even know if I can catch her on camera. We're gonna try. What are you doing? Are you licking up the oil? What are you doing? Why are you licking the oil? Why are you so weird? She's ignoring me because the oil is more entertaining, apparently. Oh, man. Try and light up my camera again. All better. Mini, I did it. Nice, not Tyson's. Yeah. Okay. The Tyson story broke your heart. I get it. I get it. Okay. So first 10 minutes, let's see how we're doing with flipping these over. Oh, those look so good. Ugh, stupid coloring. All right. Let me see if it'll show. So these are getting nice and golden crispy. I like it like it a lot. Because I'm not using whatever oil they tend to use, I'm not feeling sick yet, so that's good. Starting to shrink up so I can move them around, space them out a little better. All right, so those are flipped over. I'm going to do a few more minutes. Ready, go. Oh, no. Stop. I hit the wrong buttons. I'm still learning. It's new. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's hard not to love cats. Well, at least she stopped licking the floor. So that's nice. <laughs> oh, my cat's weird. But yeah, so I did used to really like Tyson's. And for some things, it's okay. It's just not my favorite. So I, since this works, I also like chicken fries. But again, something with the flavoring with Tyson, it's just, I don't know, they're not, they're not working out how I'm used to them. So if I can just cut my chicken into strips and use a nice fresh chicken breast, 
when I know then what's going into it. Make my own dredge, which again, then I know what seasonings are going into it, how much I can use different kinds of flowers to make sure I'm staying on diet. Then it's a little extra effort, but not that much. So if I can do all the prep and all I have to do is take it out of my freezer and throw it in the air fryer, heck yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. I like second batch better. That turned out very nicely. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've heard good things about Tyson as opposed to like different brands of putting other things or using less choice cuts or less safe resources I'm trying to think of pol polite ways of saying not outsourcing to some really dirty farms and i live in farmland so i'm not knocking on any farms it's just i have friends that are farmers i understand the struggles that they're under to an extent from what they tell me um, it's really hard to compete. It's really hard to stay in the game. So you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's just, I notice in the States I have trouble with meat because of the antibiotics we give our meat. Um, I eat by feeding them grains instead of being grass fed. I notice I get sick if it's been fed grains, especially less choice grains. So the cheaper the meat, the more sick I'm going to get. It's always fun to know. So I tend to go with Tyson because at least I know they are a slightly better option, but they're not the best option. So for how much I spend on Tyson, if I can spend that amount on getting meat that's a little better for me, that is antibiotic free and free range, and then I just have to spend a little extra time making it. That's going to be better for me in the long run. Plus, the Tyson stuff doesn't taste very good lately. In my opinion. Unpopular opinion time. All right, final batch. Here we go. Then I'll have to start looking at who to raid. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think I like the double dredge. That's kind of nice. These look delish. Delicious. So I gotta let that cool and then I'm gonna have to wash that out. And I'm gonna have to wipe down the outside because it's covered in oil from my hands. Uh yeah, these look extra crispy. These look really good. My cat came back and is licking the floor again. Of course, my largest batch is at the end. Figure. At the end. And I'm running low on sauce. Oh man, these look so good. I had it. So 
but yes so i would probably do um another batch where i can add some parmesan cheese into it do another batch where it's a little more garlicky um maybe roast the garlic with the butter fry up the but the garlic and the butter i should say so that way kind of cooked in a little better get that flavor a bit more than just from the flour Smells so good though. I don't know why I love the smell of vinegar so much, but especially like that's why I really love buffalo is it's spicy, but that hit of vinegar like really clears my sinuses up. I definitely way, made way too much, so I got a different fork so that I can share with my family, no cross-contamination. They'll probably get the first and third batch and I'll have the second for myself. Because all this extra flour is just gonna soak, gonna soak up all this leftover sauce so nicely. Shots of apple cider vinegar, yes. So I have a big container. I have two big containers of apple cider vinegar. You can almost see them in the background. So those are both giant containers of apple cider vinegar. I probably am missing that. That's because I'm, I got them and then I didn't really have that craving. But since I haven't had buffalo wings in so long, I'm probably missing that vinegar punch. And because they're behind other things, I forget that they exist. So I probably need to do a shot of vinegar. I should make that a redemption point. You guys can remind me to do shots of vinegar. You guys want me to? Weight loss and help. Yeah. I use it for help with stomach acid. So like... Normally, I get a pretty decent amount of vinegar throughout the year in my diet. Just I'm naturally drawn that way. And then there are a few events where I go crazy with the vinegar. But with everything being locked down, I don't have those options. I look at that. That's the Instagram picture right there. That's that's what I'll do. Taking it straight. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Yeah, like I said, normally it's just part of my diet. And so I don't have to think too much about it. Wow, this camera makes it look way more red, and then this camera makes it look super washed out. Oh, cameras. Why you gotta be so weird? Why you gotta be so weird? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait. In my chat. All right. I will do one. Let's cut into just cut into this top one right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Switch over to chat so you can see. You guys can see this a little better. Look at that. Look at the juiciness. That is a good piece of chicken. Nice and crispy. That's why I think a little bit of the cornmeal will help. But yeah, that. We're learning. See, it took a few tries. Yeah, I got to figure out the color correction. I don't know how to do that through like OBS. And since I'm just using straight webcams, there's not a whole lot of option. Um, they don't come with any programs or anything to do things. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 
That's the one. That is perfect. <laughs> Insert chicken. Here, I can take it closer to the camera. I can pretend I'm feeding it. Take a bite. Ow. I don't have COVID because I can smell that. And I can taste it and it's delicious. Mm. Always be talking. Anyway, so like I said, these recipes are on my Discord if you want them. If you're not part of my Discord, it's pretty slow right now. Um, I might do karaoke again tomorrow night. I seem to enjoy that. Hello, Ascended. Thank you for the biddies. Oh my goodness. The cheer from Calamity for the buffalo wings. Calamity, you would love these. Jessica, I can walk her through this. This is super simple. She can bake these. They don't have to be fried. If you have the air fryer or a little um, personal oven. Microwave oven. Not the microwave. The, the countertop one. Wow. Words. I think I got to go back to bed because I can't word today. Um, but yes, Calamity, if you want some homemade wings, these are really easy to do. I can walk Jessica through it. Oh, super straightforward. The recipes are very straightforward. Toaster oven. Thank you, Pagan. I don't know why my words are struggling. I have these days. Um, yep. I was starting to say something and my brain just went, nope. Buffalo wings are delicious. <laughs> I'm learning from TikTok that I have ADHD and apparently it's pretty obvious to everyone else because I come on here and I was like, talking no problem and I just distracted myself because I can still taste buffalo sauce. I'm like, God, that tastes so good. I want more. But there are other things I should do, but I want more. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me. Like, I get it. I'm used to it with pain days where like... Pain just makes my brain off in La La Land. I'm not used to, like, I just apparently really wanted buffalo wings that much. That it's distracting me by the taste of buffalo sauce. <gasps> no, Pagan, I get it. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm about to raid off because I need to go sit down. My legs hurt. Uh, I got a lot of clean up to do <laughs> as well. Not too much. So again, for this, it's just cleaning the air fryer. I've got cutting board, two bowls that I rinsed throughout. I've got the saucepan now, a few knives. So it's pretty minimal cleanup. Um, I did large batches. It's much simpler if you're doing smaller batches. So if you have questions, feel free to come check me out. I'll probably, I'm going to be on Anime Daddy's stream in probably 15 minutes for Complain Cast. But afterwards, hopefully you can catch me in my Discord. Feel free to direct message me. I'm being better about it. So tomorrow, probably around 8, I'll get on, do some karaoke if you want to hang out. Friday, more painting, 6 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll be back on Monday for more games. And next Wednesday, we're going to do Valentine's Treats. I'm going to do self-care. So I'll kind of just go through my self-care stuff that I do for Valentine's Day and some easy treats you can do for your sweets or yourself because my sweetie is myself. And yeah, let's see who to raid. Who's on right now? I have an idea since I didn't the other day. Well, I'll say. We'll say. Oh, he's fun. Mm. Nah. 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 What do we feel like seeing? What do we like? What's going on?
Mm. Oh, she's doing Among Us. And it's her first affiliate. All right. So we're going to go ahead and end it. I know who I'm going to raid. This is a friend of a friend. It's her first affiliate stream. So she's doing Among Us, which is pretty funny. Don't know who she's playing with, so I can't guarantee for like language or anything. But show some love because she's awesome. Thank you all for hanging out. Hopefully, there it is. We're going to raid Shisk, Shish Kebab. Right. The words. Shish Kebab Righteousness. In just a moment, if I can figure out how to type. Oh gosh, long names. I think I got it. There we go. So yes, we're going to raid Shish Kebab. She's absolutely wonderful. She just got affiliate. Show some love. Show some support. Like I said, she's doing some Among Us, which is always fun. I might be live with Among Us. If not, I'll at least be on Discord with Among Us on Sunday. Thank you all for hanging out. Hopefully I will see you in Discord tomorrow, if not Friday painting or Monday for gaming. But in the meantime, it's time for this, Aaron, to go.